Hello, and welcome to Brand Clarity by Visions to Images, where we focus on strategy and business development for entrepreneurs at all different levels through branding and digital marketing techniques. Susie Libertor is the founder and art director of Visions to Images Creative Services, LLC. For the last decade, she has personally been instrumental in bridging gaps between the global digital market and neighborhood locations for some of the biggest brands around. Growth is possible for even a single location with the right professional branding techniques and Susie's signature strategies of Visions to Images. Stand out from your competitors and bring your visions to life while watching your sales skyrocket. Your host for this is Susie Libertor, owner of Visions to Images. Hello, everybody. Today on the podcast, I want to talk about marketing. Of course, marketing, right? So a lot of times when I work with people or they come to me, they say, I don't know if I need marketing or I don't know if I need branding. They're very confused. They're not sure. And what I've been hearing sometimes lately, even though we're in the midst of a pandemic still kind of sort of, it's kind of going away, but it's still here. People say, oh, I'm book solid, like real estate agents, for example, or mortgage brokers, or many businesses have been thriving through a pandemic, which is amazing. And then there are some who have not, but there are reasons as to why you still need to do your marketing regardless. If you're booked, you're not booked or you're not sure what's going on. So it doesn't matter where you are at in your business, your marketing still needs to be in place. The first thing that people typically do when they need a budget cut is they cut their marketing out. Every little bit for your branding and marketing matters. And so even though during the pandemic, a lot of people probably cut back on marketing, some people might have thrived, some people might not have. But the moral of the story is it doesn't matter what your business is going through, whether it's a pandemic, whether you are book solid, or whether you're hearing crickets, right? No matter where your business is, you need consistent branding and marketing. I'll tell you what, I was booked third and fourth quarter of 2020 when the pandemic was happening. It was book solid, right? I was to the point I needed to hire more and more people to keep up with supply and demand and to reevaluate pricing and reevaluate my clients. I did a lot of business reevaluations for myself as well as hired people on to help. I was sitting on a call with my sales coach and I said, you know, I don't think I need to do lead generation for a while. I don't think I need to do any marketing for myself for a while. And then I caught myself saying that. And I was like, that's not even true. I don't want that to happen for my clients. Why would I want that to happen for myself? But at that time, I was very overwhelmed and I was booked solid. There's a saying, what goes up must come down, right? So in that mist, when the holiday season came around, things were still pretty okay, but they slowed down about half, I would say about 50%. There were still lots of things happening. However, I realized, oh, I need to always keep up with my marketing. I didn't stop. But I just kind of, I hired somebody to help with a lot of like lead generation, and keeping that marketing happening on top of the mind and really networking and connecting and building and growing those clients, right? Building those connections are huge. So you can't just stop. Your audience wants to see you. It doesn't matter where you are internally. They don't need to know where you are. They want you to keep showing up. They want to support you. They want to be by you. So that's why you can't always necessarily just stop marketing altogether, no matter where you are at a business. And it'll really help you thrive to keep that consistent going, right? We talk about consistency all the time. I talk about it day in and day out with clients, people on the phone. Every day I'm talking about consistency because consistency really works, right? Think about it like this. You go in to get your car done. You get your car updated. You have to get an oil change every so often. My light comes on when I need to do it. And I'm like, oh, I need to go get my oil change because that's what consistency does. Because otherwise, who knows what would happen to my car? Who knows what would happen if I didn't have these updates? And then they go in and they find other problems. So there's that consistency there for my car that needs to be taken care of. Your business and your branding needs that consistency no matter what the world is going through, right? So during that time when I was book solid, I was still doing lead generation. I was still hiring people to help out. I was still showing up. I was still networking. I might have been mentally exhausted, but I was still doing what I needed to do for my marketing and hired help when I needed it. So the moral of the story is it doesn't matter where your business is. It doesn't matter if you are book solid and you're, you're okay. And you're cruising along because it might be that way now, 
but it might also come down eventually, right? Or you might want to grow even bigger and beyond that, but how do you get there? So even if you are booked, what are your next steps to get there? to get beyond books, right? Do we need to hire more people? Do we need to increase prices? All of these things not necessarily are related to branding and marketing, but if you're book solid and you've been book solid for a while, even during a pandemic, maybe it's time to reevaluate your business, you know? Maybe you want to take it to that next level. What does that next level look like for you? If you were one of the businesses that needed to absolutely pull back during the pandemic or in, in general because marketing budget was so high that you weren't getting a return on investment, I would say don't pull completely out. I would say just pull back a little bit so that you still are having some type of consistency and or have that showing up factor. Hey, hey, let's stop for just one second during this podcast episode. I know you're so excited to get back and listen, but I wanted to chat with you and talk about how we really work with businesses. What we really do is we dive in and we ask so many questions. We go through a series of questionnaires and extensive research to really help you get a clear, identifiable plan of action that needs to happen for your business. If you want to hear more about this, go to visions2images.com, click the contact us button, and we will be happy to set up a time to chat more. Businesses will thrive with good marketing, no matter what season you're going through in your company, right? So we need to really understand, we really need to understand that we can't just stop marketing. We can't just dump everything into marketing at one point, right? It's got to be steady. We can't say, oh my gosh, I want to just throw all my money into marketing. I want to crash the world because I'm going to launch this new thing. And your audience is like, where did this person come from, right? We need to slowly let them digest and then build upon it and build upon it and keep it steady. We don't want to confuse the audience and overwhelm them none the least, or just ghost them, right? Like if you're showing up and then all of a sudden you stop showing up, your audience is going to say, oh my gosh, are they even still in business? So you got to find that fine line of what it looks like for your company and what is going to be beneficial for you. Your audience is still here. They hear you, they see you, they're cheering you on. And so it's now more than ever so important to show up in the most consistent way. I get life, right? Like pandemic was hard for so many businesses. So many businesses closed down. So many had to cut back all that stuff. Like, and some people thrive, like I said, but how can you get to that next level and show up consistently? So my question to you is what are your goals, right? We all have goals. I don't want to sit here and talk about goals, 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 but I want you to think about regardless if it's for marketing or your business, what is your goal a year from now, right? A lot of times we think about, oh, new year's new year. I'm going to do all these things. I'm going to be the first person to tell you, I did not keep up with my goals that I had for first quarter for my business. <laughs> and so we really need to be able to understand if we want to grow, how do we grow our business? I mean, that's the constant question I always ask myself and I have to put plans into action for my own marketing and my own needs. The same goes for you. If you need that help and support, Know that there's people out there, not just for myself, but there's so many other companies that are amazing at what they do. It doesn't matter if you're not ready right now. You have to take some type of step, right? So even if you're not ready right now because you're book solid, even if you're not ready because you are in your slow season or you are content and you're just kind of chugged along right now, it doesn't matter where you are at. Do you want to stay where you are? Or do you want to grow? Now, if you are where you are at and you're very consistent, that's amazing. Stay where you're at. But if you're not where you want to be and you want to take it to that next level, definitely figure out a plan of action. There's so many ways to figure out a plan of action. You can do it yourself. You can hire somebody. You can strategize. You can have an internal marketing person. You can do all of these different things, guys. And it's, it's one of those things where if you don't know ask for help, right? I don't rely on myself for accounting and CPA stuff anymore. I hire for that because my big thing is I want to hire the experts because I know that I'm getting the best support and I know that they have the expertise, right? They have that knowledge. I don't want to sit here and waste time and money and Google it. I'm a single mom. I have an autistic kid. We want to have fun. We want to go do things. I have to take care of my house. I have to take care of a million things, right? I don't want to sit here. The last thing I want is to Google how to do something I don't know how to do when I can ask for help and support. 
It's so much easier. So the same is true for marketing. You can get lost in a rabbit hole. You can literally go down this rabbit hole for hours. Oh, I want to create a marketing campaign. Oh, what is my competitors doing? All this stuff, right? Like the other day I was on a phone call with somebody and they said, I want a competitive analysis of my competitors. And I said, um, awesome. Great. I can help you. But beyond that, I was like, why do you think you need that? And we dived in deeper. What are you doing? What aren't you doing? What can we do to utilize your marketing budget, right? So it comes back to the same thing. What are your goals? Who's your audience? How do we really accelerate all these things? So don't, don't waste time if it's not in your expertise, no matter what it is. If it's marketing, if it's HR, if it's if it's CPA, if it's accounting, I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. I have so many people that I have on my team personally and professionally. I hire my lawn service, right? Like I just let somebody come and take care of my lawn, even in the winter when it's, it's, it's snowing and everything. I have people to take care of things because I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the knowledge and I don't have the tools, right? All right. So I hope today that you guys were able to take away some great stuff about why you need marketing, no matter what your business is going through. Let me know what your quarter goals are, what your yearly goals are, and let's talk. Let's really dive in. I mean, I'm always open to having conversations because even if I am not the right person for you, I have a vast network of people who will absolutely help you and support you no matter what you need support in, whether it is that branding, that marketing, HR, accounting, whatever it might be that you are stuck on, Let's get you some help today, guys. Thank you for listening in on this episode today. Please make sure to check out the links from your guests and visions to images to learn more about each other. It takes a village, as you know, so connect and grow with one another together. Thank you so much for listening.